Hi, I'm Tammy Murphy, broker owner of RH2L. And man, what a day. Let me tell you, uh, I want to be honest with you. I kind of went through what most of my clients go through and maybe it's a good experience and maybe it's an eye-opening experience, but I wonder if you have had this um, sensation, feeling, or maybe it's just a thought, or maybe it's just me, but I was at my home this morning and we were doing a pre-sale inspection. Now, a little bit different in that uh, we were looking to say, what's the condition of the home? Are there any items that need to be addressed before we go on the market to sell? And since I live there personally, obviously, um, it's a different hat for me to wear. And this one is that I'm the occupant of the property and having this service done on the home while I'm there. So different perspective than being realtor or buyer and reasonings why you would want to do an inspection. Um, but this one just kind of gave me um, maybe another shoe, uh, another shoe on the foot or another uh, gave me another taste of how the process is and maybe a different perspective. So I just thought I would um, do this video and see if you also have um, similar feelings and ideas about this and how maybe we as realtors can make it better for you, the consumer, because ultimately that's what we want to do is make the process better for you so that you don't have this. So anyway, of course, the inspector was going to come early this morning and um, I frantically cleaned house, you know, spent the weekend getting everything in order now the weekend and it's now Wednesday. So, you know, there is a few days in between, which means we're living there. We're still doing and functioning, but having to pick up after ourselves and just tidy understand that an inspector is there for a different reason. He's not checking how clean the house is, but that's me. And then I want to make sure that the house is clean before somebody comes in and certainly before they're going to come in and inspect it. So back to the tale. So now it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. We have a dog in the house and, um, you know, I try to contain the dog while giving him his freedom and just kind of put that right in the middle of the house. So he had the space of the family room and the kitchen and we've got everything on the right side and everything on the left side that the inspector could start with, um, which of course is not how he wanted to do this. So immediately uh, he informs me that he starts with the kitchen and then he'll work his way around and he'll go to all the rooms and I'm like, I'm just trying to facilitate for my dog not to be agitated or upset and to be contained and not in your way. And I kind of got chastised <laughs> because, you know, he's there to do his job. And I apparently came off like I was being difficult. Hmm. Anyway, so we worked through it and I put the dog in a bedroom and then he went through the process and when he was ready to do the bedrooms, then I could pull our dog back out into his normal contained area. I just thought it was a little um, off-putting, you know, I'm sitting in my home and certainly being considerate that the inspector is there to do his job. So I wasn't talking with him. I wasn't trying to distract him. Um, aside from that initial conversation, I was really just trying to let him do what he needed to do. But I felt like, oh my gosh, of course you have to go to the bathroom. You wanna go potty. And you're like, whoa, I don't wanna do that while somebody's in the house. So I took the dog for a walk. We kind of occupied our time. Um, and it just made me realize how you as the consumer might be feeling when the home is occupied and the inspector comes in. Ours was there for roughly three and a half hours, um, which is pretty typical. We always tell people it's anywhere from two and a half to three and a half hours. So there wasn't anything unusual about it. It just so happened to be uh, Ohio cold and gloomy weather, not the beautiful, nice, sunny day we just had. 
Um, and so to occupy my time to try not to be distracting, it was just a little bit uh, of a cumbersome, inconvenient feeling for me as the person. So I just thought that that might be worth sharing with you because if you have an inspection scheduled and you are the homeowner, the seller, and you're occupying the property, there are some things that I will put together as a checklist for you to be aware of so that you know what to do, what not to do, what to expect, and certainly what not to expect. And then also from the buyer's perspective, um, buyers normally would feel like they come into the home and they get to look at it. That would be a normal home inspection as part of the contract. So again, my experience today was through a pre-sale inspection being the owner living in the home and wanting to do that and I'm occupying the property. So I will put together some checklists for you and I will do a different video from the realtor's perspective, talking with sellers and buyers. And again, those checklists that will be available. So make sure you subscribe, look, like, share this information. If you've got questions, um, certainly feel free to reach out and we will be happy to answer those questions directly or um, provide additional information and insight and understand that everybody's process is a little bit different. So what my inspector experienced might not be what another one does. They might start somewhere else on the outside or in the basement or whatever, um, but it's still helpful information and certainly an eye-opening experience for me to personally experience this in this current market um, obviously is different than markets that I've experienced it in before and just wanting to uh, maybe give you some insight. So thanks for sharing with me and thanks for allowing me to come into your home or on your phone uh, and however you're watching this video. So I appreciate you. We look forward to assisting you in whatever needs you have for real estate here in the greater Miami Valley area. Have a great day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.